Comparison of Secondary School Heads Leadership Qualities by Azmad Farouk Ahmed Mubiyan al-Islam Dr. Ahmed Bilal Dr. Syed Shafkat Ali Shah Introduction Effectiveness of schools is linked with leadership. Role of school head is essential for the success of better change and effectiveness better vision. Strategy and mission of school head creates a supportive environment. Targets can be successfully achieved by keeping an eye on the leadership qualities. A successful school head mobilizes his subordinates to create necessary atmosphere for obtaining desired outcomes. In ideal situation, school heads employ their leadership qualities to create learning environment and improve school effectiveness. But schools nowadays are not creating excelled outcomes. Schools performance has become moderate. School heads are not affecting their subordinate and making them willing worker. There is a big gap between current and ideal situation. Research are needed to investigate this gray area. In current situation, schools are not creating excelled outcomes. Schools performance has become moderate. School heads are not affecting their subordinates and not making them willing worker. In ideal situation, school heads employ their leadership qualities to create learning environment and improve school effectiveness. There is a huge gap between both situations. Therefore, there was a need to find out the leadership qualities of school heads. Nine null hypotheses were sketched out according to the objectives. Objective one was to find out teachers' perceptions about the leadership qualities of their school heads. Null Hypothesis 1. There is no significant difference between secondary school teachers' perceptions mean score and mean scale score about leadership qualities of secondary school heads. Null Hypothesis 2. There is no significant difference between public secondary school teachers' perceptions mean score and mean scale score about leadership qualities of secondary school heads. Similarly, Null Hypothesis 3 pertains to Private Secondary School Teachers' Perceptions Objective 2 was To find out secondary school Heads' perceptions about the leadership qualities of school heads Null Hypothesis 4 pertains to Secondary School Heads' Perceptions Null Hypothesis 5 pertains to Public Secondary School Heads' Perceptions Null Hypothesis 6 pertains to Private Secondary School Heads' Perceptions Objective 3 was To compare Teachers' and their school heads' perceptions Null Hypothesis 7 pertains to Secondary School Teachers' and their heads Null Hypothesis 8 pertains to Public Secondary School Teachers and Their Heads Null Hypothesis 9 pertains to Private Secondary School Teachers and Their Heads Significance of the Study This study was designed that it may contribute in identifying the leadership qualities of heads in comparative perspective in secondary school. It would be helpful in creating awareness about the current status of school heads' leadership qualities working in both public and private secondary schools. It may help secondary school heads for improving personal leadership skills. This study would grasp attention of policy makers, school education department and directorate of staff development to design continuous training for secondary school heads to strengthen the leadership qualities of school heads. Perceptions of teachers and their heads was collected on the communication skills, decision making, time management, commitment. This study was descriptive and quantitative in nature survey method and separate questionnaires were used sample 
two-stage random sampling technique was used. Sample size from 56 secondary schools were 224 teachers out of which 88 were public secondary school whereas 136 were the private secondary school. Similarly, 56 school heads out of which 22 public secondary school head and 34 private secondary school heads were the sample. Instrument was Adapted versions of leadership qualities of schools head questionnaire. Development of question. Development of questionnaire. The instrument used in this study was replicated from the revised version of leadership qualities of principle. It was modified by Dr. Sailsh Shoma University of Malaya. The questionnaire was a five-point Likert scale. Content validity ratio, CVR, of different items ranged from 0.75-0.87. Content validity index. CVI, remained as 0.89. Instrument was pilot tested on 62 teachers of government pilot secondary school Falia, District Mandi Bayudan, Punjab, Pakistan. Internal consistency reliability. That. Cronbach reliability coefficient remained as 0.89. Data analysis. Separate questionnaires for both teachers and their school heads serving in public secondary schools were used. Mean scores were calculated against each factor. Means and standard deviations were computed. One sample t-test and independent t-test were used. Table 1 to 3 indicate the comparison of perceptions of teachers belonging to public schools, private schools, and both about their head's leadership qualities mean score with scale mean score, cut score, that is three. Table four to six indicate the comparison of perceptions of head teachers from public schools, private schools, and both about their own leadership qualities. Table 7 to 9 indicate the comparison between the teachers and their head teachers' perceptions about leadership qualities of head teachers. Discussion. The results of the study discovered that the perceptions of secondary school teachers about the leadership qualities of their school heads were somewhat positive. It is very interesting that Pakistani teachers both from public and private sectors rated their school heads almost similar having strong leadership qualities. But school heads serving in both public and private sector rated themselves that they have excellent leadership qualities. Head teachers placed themselves at an ideal position. The gap indicates that self-image of school heads needs revision. There is a need to minimize the gap between both stakeholders' perceptions to make the effectiveness of heads more realistic. Conclusion the results of this study describe that how teachers perceive about the leadership qualities of their school heads. It provides indications to understand the status of leadership qualities of Pakistani school heads. These results are helpful for main stakeholders i.e. teachers, school heads and school education department who are trying to improve status of education in Pakistani schools. Only those schools excel in which school heads make a significant leadership qualities. Teaching learning processes can be better improved through their leadership qualities like communication skill, decision making, time management and commitment. Dear students, please note that 
significant gap between perceptions about leadership qualities of head teachers was observed. The self-image of heads was found higher as compared to the perceptions of their subordinates. Effectiveness of schools is linked with leadership. Schools performance can be better improved with the awareness of school heads about their actual leadership qualities that they possess. School heads can better employ their leadership qualities with this awareness. They can create learning environment and improve school effectiveness. Thank you.